I started taking pictures in 1975. I had a Helena Paulette camera. Not the Helena Paulette electric that I did a video on, but it's a slightly cheaper cousin without a meter. Uh, it was a great little camera. I didn't really understand it. But it kind of wore out very quickly. So in 1976, for the amazing sum of three pounds, I purchased this. This is the Agfa Select One. Right, 1976. Uh, we had uh, a Cod War with Iceland, uh, Beyond Borg won Wimbledon, uh, there was the first com commercial flight of Concord from London to New York, and the most incredible summer that we'd ever experienced as children. The long hot summer of 1976 meant that I got out a lot and played with this camera a lot. Although I got it in 1976, it's actually about circa about 1960. So again, this camera uh, was, and indeed still is, about the same age as me. It's very basic, and you know it still works. Right, we'll walk around. It's got a very simple, although slightly coated lens, which focuses from three and a half feet to infinity. This is an f 2.8 45mm lens. Uh, the aperture goes from 2.8 as I said through to f22 and the shutter speeds go from b 30th of a second, 60th of a second, 125th of a second and you can see where I've actually marked the lens here with a permanent marker so that you can uh, see where I've thought to myself, this is going to be dodgy if I take pictures at this end, uh, so I need a tripod. Luckily, it does have a tripod mount. Focusing on this can be very, very simple. If you basically focus the uh, camera to about eight feet, you use F8 and you put it on a 60th of a second, it becomes a point-to-shoot camera which is just as well because it doesn't have a light meter in it. Top of the camera we have the wind on and where you would normally expect to find the shutter release there's the cable release on this one. The rewind lever is here and you unlock the clutch inside the camera by depressing this uh, lever and holding it down while you rewind. The shutter release is on the front. And it's very quiet. If you want to know how many pictures you've taken, the window here is the frame counter. This doesn't have a hinged back. If I undo this, the whole back comes off. And you can see, actually in this one, there is actually a film in here. So the film slots in here. It says confidently. Thank you. You feed it across the other side. It has to engage with the sprockets on here and this has to be then fed into the slots on this wheel here. So if I do that, a little bit wonky, haven't done it for a while. So, put the back on, I slide this in place, and I lock it with the lever here. This camera, as I said, doesn't have an exposure meter, uh, so I bought myself a Leningrad 4 uh, light meter, which to be honest cost more than the camera did, and I learned how to use it. 
over the course of a year or so I became more proficient with the camera and eventually I traded it up to a Zenith E. Uh, I don't have the Zenith anymore but I do have this one. Uh, I probably always will have. So the Agfa Select 1 35mm camera circa about 1960.